For the third example, what we're going to do is take components, the horizontal and vertical components of one of our vectors. I'm going to go ahead and do the components of vector A. So, as we recall, vector A, 40 newtons at 30 degrees north of east. So I've got to draw my vector first. Origin and angle. Thirty degrees. Mark north of east. Then I need to draw forty centimeters out for my forty newtons. This is where the graph paper becomes the handiest because already I would have the vertical and, and horizontal components. Please do it on graph paper. You will probably not have straight lines if you don't do it that way. So, what I have to do now is go ahead and mark off my axis and create my axis. Again, if you're using graph paper, this will be done for you. X-axis. No. Y-axis. And again, if you don't do it on graph paper, it's not going to be quite perfect. And it's going to possibly be off, and you'll get the wrong answer. So, vector A, 30 degrees, oh, not 3, 30 degrees north of east. And again, what we do with components is we're looking at how far the vector went out horizontally and how far it went vertically. So what I'm going to do is draw my horizontal component and my vertical component. So how far directly along the horizontal direction did it go and how far up the vertical direction did it go. And it doesn't matter which order I do these in. I could have gone up over here and then to the right over here. I would get the same answer. Now it's just a matter of measuring it. I have 35 centimeters, which is 35 newtons, and horizontally, flip this around, I have 20 and a half newtons. And there, I found my vertical and horizontal components. So I've done three example problems for you now. We added a vector, we subtracted a vector, and we've also done the components of a vector. Those are the three types of problems you're going to encounter on this lab. Please do it graphically. Add it as I've had. If you do trig calculations, if you do use sine and cosine to figure out these values, use tangent to figure out angles, you'll actually receive no credit for that problem. What I'm looking for and what I'm grading are the vectors, the arrows, the angles. Those are the things that are going to earn you points in this lab. Good luck.